my battery. Gotta whisper it. Hurry, hurry. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I have been hanging out to do this video. This box arrived last week and I have had it sitting there waiting for a spare moment when I've been able to film this video. So, now is that time. Hanging out. I'm gonna open it up. Before I do that, I should probably let you know what I'm opening. So you've probably seen a lot of these videos on YouTube lately. I ordered some stuff from a shop called Shop Miss A. The website is shopmissa.com. It is where everything is for a dollar. Now, I didn't order a huge ton of stuff, mainly because I was slightly frustrated. When I went on the website, all the stuff that I really, really wanted to purchase was sold out. So, I bought some stuff anyway because I really wanted to get some false lashes and they are a dollar so why not why would you pay $15 in a shop when you can pay a dollar Australia your prices are horrendous oh and sorry about my horrendous fake tan hands hashtag fail um, if you can see it I'm trying out this new fake tan and I'm thinking of doing a video on what I think it will be the first time that I've tried tan so I suppose it's not really something that I can compare but if you haven't fake tanned before and you're going to there's definitely tips that I can tell you about applying this so you don't look as silly as I did or do currently see although oddly enough people don't really notice this I know it looks really noticeable on camera but they don't anyway I'm kind of getting off topic because let's not talk about that in this video let's make another video for that so here it is here Nothing huge, I didn't go crazy, but I'm gonna open it up and show you what I got. And actually, I'm also gonna probably surprise myself because I actually can't remember what I ordered. By the way, if you're wondering what is going on with my makeup, I did this uh, makeup look, whatever, this morning, and it is now the afternoon, and I have been rolling around on the floor with my little one, and so now my face is all smudged and a bit of a hot mess. Anyhow. <laughs> It's open. Okay, so I know in some people's videos they go, oh look, it comes with an invoice and this is the packaging and oh, there's some bubble wrap. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. I don't understand why people wanna watch bubble wrap. Ooh, this is so exciting. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out was some falsies. So this one is from Cara Eyelashes. 100% human hair, which to be honest, kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm not sure why I would buy human hair. <laughs> Anyhow, I got the number 43 and it looks like I got Two sets of those. I then got the Cara eyelashes number 205 um, and they are also human hair which seriously it kind of creeps me out. Should I be using human hair? Like anybody explain to me why I'm using human hair on my eyes? I don't know that's just a bit spooky but anyhow. Okay these are all Cara. Must just be the brand that they sell. So I got these the 600 also human hair. Very black some short bits, some long bits. If you see my videos, I don't use false lashes a lot, but I've just started getting into them, and so I really wanted to try something a little bit different, and these are definitely different. Oh, there's some more 205s. Oh, some more 205s. Okay, I got a lot of 205s, people. Okay, I also got these ones, which is 218. Uh, black, obviously they're all black, and they're all human hair. And I got a whole lot of those. I'm really excited to try these, guys. Uh, if I can get them on without them looking uh, horrendous. If you are out there and you have issues putting on eye false eyelashes or you have put them on the wrong eye or you put them on backwards like me, then uh, I want to hear about it because I don't want to feel like the only one that doesn't know what they're doing. Come on, somebody sympathize. Somebody empathize. Come on. Wow, I'm really just forgetting that I'm talking to a camera. It's quite bizarre. Anyway, I got an elf brush. This is the, what is this? The eyeliner brush interested to try more elf brushes because I have like one elf brush and I love it. It feels good, it washes well, it keeps well. I'm just really surprised. They're actually really cool brushes. Really good, really affordable. I don't know. I need some more of them in my life. I felt like I've sort of been getting into wearing a lot more pink on my lips lately so I got this uh, lip liner pencil and it's by Clean Color and it is the color, I don't know, it's pink. Oh, rose. Rose. Super excited. Lip pencil. Moving on. To be real, I did actually go on there to order a whole lot of jewellery, but as I said, it was really annoying. I went on there and all of the stuff that I wanted to purchase was sold out. Somebody else, tell me if this happened to you. It is obviously a very popular shop. So I really only just went through and got a few sets of earrings. Oh, pretty. 
Okay guys, I just wanted to say that this video may be a little bit posy. I don't like posy videos normally, but I also don't like it when people do a haul of jewelry and then they don't try it on and show you what it looks like. Especially earrings, you can't tell what they look like in the packet, you need to see them on. So I'm going to try everything on and uh, if it's a little bit posy, I'm sorry. FYI, I do feel very uncomfortable doing these posy videos, but what am I going to do? How else am I going to show you what they look like? So anyhow, uh, keep watching and I will show you what they look like. So these ones are called the Triple Loop with Rhinestone Earrings. They are sort of a, well as it suggests, a triple loop with rhinestones in it. Shocking. I think I just bought these for going out, not that I ever go out, but a girl can dream. Saw these online and they were available because nothing else was. And I thought, they're quite pretty. I just think they're pretty for going out. I don't have anything like that. And yeah, looks quite classic, etc, etc. I got these uh, Chanel, uh, take off Chanel earrings with the drop pearl. They're actually called the, what are they called? They're called the Dainty Double C Pearl Earrings. I think these are really pretty. This is something I would probably wear to the office, would you believe it or not? I just think it looks really classic, really clean, but it does have a little bit of sparkle in there, so it looks like you're wearing a little something something. Yeah, that's those ones. I got the, sparkly star earrings and I got these in rainbow clear now when I saw these in the packet I thought they looked really cheap and horrible but actually now that I've got them on my ears I think that they are actually pretty cool I don't have anything like this and they're just quite fun I think I don't know what do you think tell me what you think uh, but initially in the packet they don't look that great but these ones are called the modern squared hoop earrings and they're pretty much as the name suggests they're basically a hoop they're square and they have little diamantes in the shape of a diamond on both sides. Again, I wasn't crazy about these in the packet, but actually when I put them on, I thought they were freaking awesome. Kind of love these. I think these are cool. I'm really glad I bought these. Then I got these two different ones. I got, they're called the 360 Front Back Coloured Gem Earrings. I got the pink one and the blue one. The pink one comes with a gold, uh, what does it call it? A gold back thingy. And the blue ones come with the silver, although when they're on you can't actually tell silver or gold really, you'd have to look really closely. Where again, when I saw these in the packet, I was like, yeah they look cool, they look different, but I don't know if that's really going to be up my alley, but when I put them on, I think they look really awesome. I'm really glad I got these, in fact they do all these in different colours. I wouldn't mind having different colours to be able to match with what I'm wearing. Yes, some of those matchy matchy people. So that is what I got from Shop Miss A. I can tell you I will be purchasing more stuff from them in the future and hopefully the next time I go on there not everything I wanted will be sold out. Fingers crossed. I'd love to know what you think of any of these earrings and which ones were your favourite or if you didn't like them and you thought they were horrible I would like to know that too. Believe it or not I am all about opinions here on my channel. This is I guess is kind of another haul video. If you like hauls blah 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 subscribe, thumbs up, do all that jazz and follow me on social media. I feel like nobody's following me on social media and it's kind of making me slack with social media so if you want to kick me out the ass then follow me on social media. I've got an Instagram which I'll have here, I've got a Twitter which I'll have here and I am starting to use Tumblr but it's kind of a bit of a um, gotta wrap my head around it. Not gonna lie, I've just gotta wrap my head around it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!